Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Iron Man 3 Mini Mates. This set features the Iron Patriot as well as the Extremis Soldier. I am lukewarm excited about the Extremist Soldier, however, I'm extremely excited about the Iron Patriot. Another set coming to us from the good folks over at Diamond the Select Toys. Spot picked this up from the good folks over at Luke's Toy Store. Um, one Actually, one of the better places the Spot's been checking out lately for uh, Mini Mates and other Marvel Select pieces. So click the link down below if you want to check out Luke's Toy Store. In the meantime, down below there's a picture of Iron Patriot and the Extremist Soldier. Both images are also carried over to the sides of the packaging, like so and so. On the back of the package, other characters you can pick up in this line. We've got Maya, or Maya Hansen, Aldrich Killian, Extremist Soldier, Cowboy Disguise Tony Stark, War Machine, Iron Man 42, Mark 42, Iron Patriot, and the Mandarin. Uh, the read-up for Iron Patriot, Tony Stark allows one Iron Man armor to be used by the military, U.S. military, under the auspicious of his close friend James Rhodey Rhodes. But a new media-friendly paint job doesn't mean a thing if the suit once known as War Machine is compromised. As for the extremist soldier, the extremist formula rebuilds the body from the ground up, replacing organs, strengthening tissues, and turning uh, each subject into a living power plant with super strength and in in Inc incendiary attacks. That's a new one. Incendiary attacks. One extremist in enhanced style is more than any more than a match for any Iron Man armor. That was a read up. That was a read up. You can also again check out Diamond Select Toys at www.diamondselecttoys.com. Spot's going to take himself a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Iron Patriot, as well as the Extremist Soldier. There's definitely more heading your way, guys. Stay tuned. First, having a look at the Extremist Soldier. He's not bad looking. I would say, if anything, his problem is he just is a filler to the set. Uh, the real draw for me, again, is the Iron Patriot. But I like, I like the detailing. The certain, certainly the overall detailing that Diamond Select Toys put into this Mini Mate. He's a little darker tanned, and uh, he's got a black hairstyle going on there as well. The markings on it are definitely top notch. I can, I give, I take nothing away at all from what Diamond Select Toys did with the overall detailing on this figure. The fact that he is a shirtless figure with gloves you can still see that they put a lot of detail not only in the torso, but as well as the face. Speaking of face, the Extremist Soldier does come with alternate pieces that you can mix and match to create a secondary figure. Uh, all you really require to do is take this hair off, which is a little harder because it's a smaller piece of hair, still pegged into the top there, and he does come with a secondary hair and you can just peg that into place. It's a little looser, but it still sits in just right. Can I, I might even raise it just a little higher up so it doesn't, doesn't sink as low down, like so. You can do that, or another thing that they've also provided you is a vest or sleeveless shirt. You can take the head off altogether, just unpeg it from the ball joint, and slide this torso piece over top like so. Take the head once again. And you have to kind of get the torso piece far enough down that you get the head back onto the ball joint like so. And you can put the hair back on. And you've got, just like that, you've got yourself a new extremist soldier. I would say you could pick up a couple of these, but you're really ultimately going to get two Iron Patriots to some extent. We'll get into him in a second. The Extremist Soldier also does come with, if you can see it in sp spots, giant thumb and finger area there that he comes with a small handgun. Spots all tongue today. I don't know. He's just, just 
just a blithering idiot, just babbling away. Anyways, anyways, he does come with a little handgun, like so. You can take the handgun, and it looks like he's got a little side holster on his leg. Once again, pointing out Spot's larger hands versus the size of the Mini Mate pistol. There's a difference. There's a big size difference there. Might even have to take Q-tips, not Q-tips, little tweezers, get the handgun in there. It's a very small, small fit. There we go. And you have it something like that. Makes things a little harder that there's straps, more or less, than a uh, regular holster. But I like that you have an option of using either pieces for this extremist figure. He does come with actually a base, display base. Iron Patriot also comes with a display base, so you get two in this particular set. Articulation on the extremist soldier, he has a ball joint in the head. Uh, he has ball joint shoulders, which will allow the shoulders to move out, forward and back. Bend at the elbow, rotation in the hand. He has a rotation in the waist. Legs go forward, quite a bit actually. Look at those legs go. Back, out, bend at the knee, and finally a swivel in the foot. Uh, completely your prerogative as to which hair you would like to use. I kind of like the black hair. Kind of looks like, kind of liking that. Kind of looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger as well. Or maybe one of the guys from Contra. Anyways, let's peg him into his base. And you've got a pretty neat looking mini mate. Again, he doesn't have as much bells and whistles as the uh, the Iron Patriot, but still, I think Diamond Select did a really fantastic job on this figure. And having alternate pieces, you can beef up your army of extremist soldiers. The extremist soldier, I'm going to give him a 7.5. Moving along, having a look at Iron Patriot. He's nice. He is really nice. By scale comparison, because you guys probably will ask, there is Mark 42. Roughly about the same size, give or take. You can see that Iron Patriot is quite a bit bigger, a little beefier in the shoulder area. His head also, his helmet seems also a little bit bigger as well. Now while the Mark 42, you couldn't quite move the arms out. I mean, once you get that this torso piece off, you can move the arms quite easily. But with this torso on, they don't move as well out. Um, luckily, with Iron Patriot, his arms move out very easily. There's no issues whatsoever. He has a little back cannon. This part doesn't bend or rotate, but you could essentially rotate the back. It's just pegged into place there. Uh, you can remove the helmet which initially, when I, you take it off, you can see it's one of the extremist soldiers going on with a brush cut and everything. And I thought to myself initially, finger up to my imaginary face, I thought, you know, it's a shame that they didn't give us a Don, a, was it Don, John, John Cheadle? Don Cheadle, Don Cheadle face. Because, you know, it's nice to have him, but why not give us a roadie head? Then my eye wandered over to the rest of the packaging, and we did actually get a roadie head. I prefer, just as a matter of preference, and that's just me, but I prefer really the Don Cheadle. I don't know why I keep forgetting that name. Don Cheadle head. It's a little harder to get this one off, but you can get the roadie head there. There we go. And that, for me, looks a little bit nicer. That's the way it should be. Also, taking the head off once again, you can't take this torso piece off altogether. Very similar to the Mark 42. Uh, it's a little stiff, there we go. And you can see again the workings of this suit underneath. Now Iron Man, I could justify it, you know, if you had the Tony head on with the hair, you could take the torso off and just make use of that body. But really, for me, Iron Patriot, he's definitely going to get that the torso piece on. I'm definitely going to give him Rod Rody's head and put on the mask like so, the little helmet. Articulation on Iron Patriot, slightly the same. I mean, you can remove you can move his head, but you're really only moving the helmet. His arms go out via ball joint forward and back, bend at the elbow, rotation in the hand, 
There's a rotation of the waist. Legs go forward, back, out, bend at the knee, and a rotation in the foot. This one definitely benefits by having the extra display stand. He's not necessarily top heavy, but the, at least by having the, uh, the display base, you can at least have him in a little more dynamic pose. You know, you can kind of have him ready to fire off his cannons or something like that. And at least he's not going to fall. And I like that quite a bit. Iron Patriot, I'm going to give him an 8.5. Just overall happy with the execution of the figure. Paint's really nice. I like the metallic blue, which Spot didn't really mention already, but I like the metallic blue. And it's a definitely a nice piece to go along with your Mark 42 uh, Mini Mate. If you are interested in checking out not only the Iron Man Mini Mates, certainly other Mini Mates and other Marvel Select figures, definitely check out Luke's Toy Store. I'm going to provide all the information down below. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Iron Man 3 Mini Mates. Today, we're having a look at the Iron Patriot. And in the corner, we're having a look at the Extremist Soldier. Stay tuned, guys. Spots got more collectible spots heading your way. I'll see you next time.